Alright y'all, I'm back and I'm going to be playing um, Aperture Desk Job. I don't know m really anything about this game aside from it just, it came out of nowhere. It's it's a free game, it's on Steam. You have to use a controller. That's it. I, I don't know what I'm about to get into, but I, I love Valve games. Uh, you know, I've been wanting a new Portal game or anything Portal related for years, so... Hopefully this is good. I'm sure it's good. Come on, it's Valve. Valve, Valve makes good games. All right, here we go. Welcome to the Aperture Science Competence Center for our most gifted employees. I'm Cave Johnson, and if you're hearing this, you are exceptional. No, don't be bashful. It's true. No false modesty. Let's get started. Look at all those tubes, stretching off in the distance. Every one of them's taking something important to a genius who's gonna use it to change the world forever. A genius just like you. How are you gonna change the world? Well, that's up to you. History will remember what you do here today. Do not let us, and by us I mean all of us, all of humanity, down. So congratulations. You are about to take part in the greatest science adventure at the greatest applied sciences company on Earth. This is important work, and you are just the genius to do it. God gave you these gifts. I'm giving you the opportunity to use them. Well, here's your lab. I don't mind telling you, we're excited up here. Moon landing excited. Newton, Einstein, and Wait a minute, that's, now you. that's not right. I think I put the wrong tape in, hold on. Good luck world's best science okay here we go you in the overalls get to work or you're fired Dad, they don't give out overalls anymore anyway my name's grady you can call me that i mean let's do introductions later you should really already be <sighs> honestly i'm surprised you're not fired already anyway uh you are a uh, product inspector that is your inspection desk there in front of you. You will be inspecting, uh, okay, uh, doesn't say. Anyway, something is going to come down the conveyor belt, whatever it is. Make sure it works. Once you've done that, keep doing that. That's the whole job. Anyway, just remember, the important thing is to have fun on your own time before you come in. Otherwise, it's just, I don't It's it's real bad here. <sighs> it's fine. You'll probably be fine. Good luck. Uh, okay. Um. So. Okay. Uh. All right, that's good. <laughs> the butt pressure. Oh, it's got a bit of, nice. All right, it worked. All right. Why am I doing this? <laughs> Why am I doing this? Okay, it holds the water. A pressure test, very nice. Dead gummit, I knew it. Ah. I, I left the volume down. Hold yeah, on. Zip zap zap, that is how you inspect the toilet. I hope you were paying attention because I'm not saying any of that twice. Look, it's not rocket science. It's not even toilet science. Here's everything you need to know. See that light on the wall? If that light goes on, you're fired. <sighs> okay, good. You heard the important part. Wait, wait, hold on. Have they all been smoking? No. You know what? It's not our job to test if the toilet's on fire, right? Just do your regular thing like normal. Move it down the line, and then it's somebody else's problem. You think your job's bad? I mean, your job is bad. 
Do you hear that? Hold on, I'll, let me take a look. Yeah, keep test. Oh. Can you get me out of here, please? Thank you. Nope, I'm just wet now. No, 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 no. That's, it's working. Keep doing that. Just test it. Get it out of here. Oh, oh. So, first off, I I think we're in a lot of trouble here. Now, I also think we're going to be rich because I think you just admitted something. Okay, here's what we are going to do. I'm going to go work on this in secret. Just. You go back and pretend to go back to work, right? Like, it's got to look good. I mean, just pretend the most you've ever... You know what? Just go back to work, actually. Yeah, that works. I'll be back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, is, what is happening with this game? All right. All the, oh, wait. No. I was enjoying... Just... Uh-oh. The, the grasshoppers are getting sentience. God, I'm, I've done that many? Holy fuck. Hey, I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. Uh, first off, you did awesome pretending to calibrate all those toilets. Thank the you. best. All right, are you ready for this? Presenting. Press, you gotta press the button. Presenting, press the, presenting the Aperture Science Turret. Go on, take it for a spin. The controls are right there on your desk. Oh, man. Yeah, and I haven't even shown you the best part. Here's the best part. Left, shooting. You know what though? I mean, you're definitely gonna kill yourself with it pointing at you like that. So let me just turn it around. All right, shoot again. Don't worry, it's safe. I mean, this time. This time it's safe. Last time it wasn't. You almost died. Wow! Holy moly, man. That is great! Oh, man, the turret broke. That was the only one, too. But don't even worry about it, because here's what I've actually been working on. Ta-da! Introducing the Mark II. This is what I spent most of the six months on. It was one month for the first turret, and then like five for this bad boy. Oh man, you gotta take my picture with this. Uh, the desk should have a camera built into it. F12? Okay, good. Moment recorded for all the history books. Now for the fun part. You are gonna take it for a spin. Here, let me turn it around. Okay, normally I'd walk you through everything, but I think you get it. Let's just open everything at once and see what happens. Uh. Okay, go crazy. All those controls do something. Oh, also, some of the crates you're shooting at might explode. Don't worry about that. Wow, right? Oh, this is great. This thing shoots so good. Okay, a part fell off. Keep going, though. All right, something else fell off. You can still shoot everything else. Don't even worry about it. Okay, quite a bit is falling off. Keep shooting. You're not doing this. This is a structural engineering problem. It's on me. You're doing great. I bet it's the glue. I'm 99% convinced of that now. It even looked cheap when I bought it. I remember looking at it like, ah, spend the extra dollar, and yep, here we are. Wow. All right. That, so some of the 
stuff I put on there just didn't work. Most of it, like 90%, or even higher maybe. But some of it worked great. So all we have to do is keep the great stuff, and then we, then we can... So, okay, that's the police. So one of us needs to streamline this turret, right? And one of us needs to take the fall for shooting up the warehouse. Because they're, this is a lot of damage, and they're going to look into this. Which job, which job do you want? How about I fix a turret, and then you take, yeah, I'll do that part. Remember, if anyone asks, you don't know me, okay? Don't say anything. Um. Yeah, look, they've like made a little, little, just, they have a city, they have a city now. They're evolving. How much y'all know? Word. Rats. Hey. Hey, buddy. Well, I mean, wow. You are the best. Thanks for keeping your mouth shut and doing your time. 18. I mean, it was way more time than either of us were expecting. I don't know what was in those boxes we blew up, but they were, wow, were they mad. Anyway, I promise you're not going to regret this. Now let's get you out of here. Given that the offender has faithfully observed the rules of the institution, Offender has been granted supervised early release. Please sign for your possessions. Inmates' possessions are as follows. Desk, one. Inmate must state their name, print their name, then sign their name. After the tone, state your name into the desk. Kenzo. Inmate's name is now preserved for the permanent record as Kenzo. <laughs> Moving on. Now, type your name. Uh, okay. Type your name. I am. Shut up, bitch. Um, okay. There you go. As a condition of supervised early release, parolee and desk agree to report within 15 days. Hey, don't listen to her. You don't need to worry about reporting to your parole officer. Guess who spent the last 18 months getting his probation agent license through the mail? Yep, me. That's right. I'm your parole officer. I mean, not just you. I'm managing like seven guys on parole right now, but they're basically reintegrated back into society. Well, not Tony. He's struggling a little, but anyway, that's all I was doing. I got something to show you. Let's get out of here. It is never too late uh, to met. You are both free to go. Cool. Oh, uh, bring your desk. What? Okay, I streamlined the turret while you were gone. Introducing the Mark III. Ta-da! So I got rid of all the parts that fell off and just kept the stuff that worked. I mean, it was totally over-engineered, so it just does one thing now, it shoots. It didn't need a satellite dish, that was just dumb. Here, tried on these appliances I found. They were just lying around in the housewares research department in a locked room. All right, all right. Yeah, fucking bomb. I like that tattoo on your neck. Thank Did you. Did you do it yourself? No. It's like a, is it a dragon holding a knife? It's nice. The more I look at the tattoo, the more I'm thinking we should both have it. Because then we'd be tattoo bros. Anybody would gonna look at us and know we are friends. I think you'd give me the same tattoo. Would that be weird? It would be weird having the same exact form. Alright. I'll, I'll think of it. What about like a robot arm coming out of the side of my head and it's holding a wrench? So you got a dragon and the knife, and mine's similar but more robot themed. Man, that'd be so cool. Oh, speaking of being cool, I've got something even better to show you. 
gyroscopic controls. It's real easy. Just pick up the desk, tilt it around to aim, and keep that thumb on the right thumbstick. And you shoot with the right trigger like normal. Go on, try it. Yeah, I don't have that. It's really easy. Just how much did the tattoo hurt? You gave it to yourself. Did you have the proper tools? I would bet not actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. You probably had to heat up a pin with the lighter or something. That sounds, I mean, that sounds pretty awesome. Another tattoo idea I just had, instead of a robot hand coming out holding a wrench, what if it was like a skeleton hand? You know, so you're looking at it like, what's he trying to say? Is he human on the inside, or does he have like a skeleton trapped in him? You know what? Skeleton on a tattoo. I decided. That's the one I want. So when we get a free minute, I'll find a pen and we can heat up that light. Alright, everything checks out. This thing is perfect. I think we're good to go here. So, I was saving the best for last, but while you were in jail, I got us a meeting to show our turret to Cave Johnson. That's right, the owner of the company. No pressure, but if he likes this, he's gonna make us rich forever. Are you ready? Let's go. Ain't, ain't he like dead? Uh oh. Hey man, this is gonna take over the world, bro. What are you gonna do with your share of the money? I know what I'm gonna do is pay off the money I borrowed to make this turret. Like immediately pay it off. Or I'll, I mean, whew, I'll be in some real trouble. Plus the VIG. I have to pay that too. <sighs> Does it make sense to you that the VIG is more than what I borrowed in the first place? It doesn't seem like it. That's weird. Somebody overrode the controls. Hold on. Huh. That's one of the appliances I stole from housewares. He got that turret good, huh? Good thing I brought a couple spares. I knew it! It's the housewares department. How did they find out about our turret? I can't believe it. They stole our idea, and now they're gonna kill us with it. Housewares, man. We're never gonna stop them. the elevator working again but we have another 80 floors before we get to cave we're not gonna survive 80 ambushes in a row your desk should have some buttons on the underside of it those fire the rockets that got built into the desk they put those on their standard now for safety reasons so 
If you hit all four buttons at once, it should rocket us up through all 80 levels real fast and then up through the floor of Cave's office. Automatic dress launch sensor engaged. Here we go. We are go for launch in 10, 9, 8, 7. Modesty panel set to flight configuration. 3, 2, 1. We have liftoff. Yeah, I was like, I don't have buttons up under my controller, so. Okay, really nice work. Good shooting. I think we're good from here. They probably gave up. I have given up by now. <sighs> okay, let's go show this thing to Cave. Also, I do have one quick confession. I didn't actually get an appointment with Cave Johnson. I lied about that. But it turns out, I didn't know this, it turns out nobody's seen him in years. I did know it when I lied to you about our appointment, but it was still pretty new information. Anyway, I'm not gonna lie to you anymore. <sighs> I think he might be a millionaire recluse now, so be ready for that. There might be a lot of jars. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Johnson? Let's just go in. Mr. Johnson, are you here? Potato? Hey there. It's me, Cave Johnson. No, no, not behind the giant head. I am the giant head. I'm gonna level with you. A few years back, I got real sick. Body riddled with disease. I was a goner. Threw every dollar I had at it told those eggheads, hey, eggheads, make me live forever. Now, I know what you're thinking. You gave the smartest engineers on Earth a blank check to make you immortal, and this is what they came up with? A giant head? <laughs> Off by a mile. No. They figured out how to put my consciousness in a computer. That's what's in the giant head. Their first plan was to put me in a regular brain-sized computer. Then they'd put that in a robot body, and hey, presto. Well, turns out you can't fit an entire human mind in a computer that small. All I could do was tell time and know what my name was. So they kept making it bigger. Big enough to cram every last bit of me into this thing. What happened to my robot body? Still under the head, somewhere all crushed up. Couldn't support the weight. So the lab boys put me in the big head, switched me on, and uh, I don't know, I panicked. Killed a few of them. Said I'd kill more if they ever came back. Honestly, I, I regret that now. Anyway, that was four years ago. Been trying to get somebody's attention ever since. Get their butts up here and end my suffering. Now, don't worry about me. It's been a full life, but we're done here. I'm itching for the next step. Heck, I'm excited about it. Don't even think of it as killing me. You're breaking me out of prison. I'm just data now. I need you to crack this big playhead open so I can spill out into the universe. So, what do you two eggheads got? Uh, you, uh, you are in luck. We actually came up here to show you our new invention. Good stuff. Let's see it. Show them, partner. Well, I'm waiting. Oh, that'll work. To be honest, I thought you were too lunatic to drag the toilet up here. But you are geniuses. He called us geniuses. What? You are made of metal, sir. So shoot the metal. Is it working? In the head, I can't see. It's working great, sir. It doesn't feel like it. Hey, you see that? I think that's his power source. What do you think? Up oh, here we go. Powering down. The great beyond. Boy, I'll, I'll give you two credit. That is one hell of an invention. You did it. You figured out how to end my suffering. 
All right. Suffering ended in three, two. Backup power activated. Uh, you're both fired. I'm gonna need your key cards. Just lay them down in front of the head. Not too close to the chin or I won't be able to see them. Uh-oh. just occurred to me that the only person who knows Cade Johnson asked us to kill him is now dead. Yeah. Do you know what the punishment for murder is? They told us in parole officer school, you're not going to like this. Uh, it's life. Your whole life in prison. We should. Yeah, we, we, we should leave. Don't touch anything and bring the desk. Oh no, they're, they're perfect utopia. No, they're all dead. And Morning, Charlie. Back it's me, Gary. Gary, your boss. Keep inspecting those toilets. Good work, good stuff. Good. Hey, it's just me, Grady. Yeah. Just like yesterday. Man, this witness protection program is great. I don't know why we didn't turn state's evidence against those loan sharks in the first place. We don't have to pay any of the money back. We got cool new names. I like yours a lot, by the way. You know, come to think of it, you'd think they'd move us to another state or give us new jobs or something. Feels like everything is exactly the same, except our first names. Ah, you know what? They know what they're doing. Anyway, see you tomorrow, Charlie. Hey, there's the grasshopper's power source right there. That's it? Oh man. Well, shit. Um I, Damn. I was hoping there was more, but yeah, okay, this was cool. I yeah, I like this a lot. <laughs> I want more, man. I love that they got JK Simmons to do the voice of Cave Johnson again. That's sick. Well, I guess, um, There's a cake. See it. That it? That really it. Oh man.
Hello? Oh, I guess that's it. Well, damn, that's that really, uh, damn, that really sucks that that's so short. It was like just enough to tease me to make me want to keep playing. Ah, oh, man, what a cool game. You know, Valve is a weird company in that, you know, they, they, they as far as I know, in the past decade, they've only really made, I think, three games. This one, they made that Half Life VR, which I've never played because I don't own a VR setup yet. I keep telling myself I'm going to get one, but then every time I, I I I sit down to really start looking into it, I chicken shit out because I don't want to spend the money. And then they made, I think, Dota 2. Um, that may have been more than 10 years ago. And I don't know if they've made any other games, but like, Valve, you're sitting on these wonderful IPs. I mean, you did something with this one, right? Good job, but, oh man, like, give me a Portal 3, give me a Half-Life 3. Like, bros, broettes, y'all, Give me more of your you've crafted this wonderful universe and you're just sitting on it all right i liked it i'm gonna go i'm gonna post this video that no one's gonna watch and the world will keep on spinning so i'm out and i will see you when i see you